Oh, we are ready to go racing. The lights are on. The lights go out, the cars are away, and immediately Smith jumps on it. Great jump by Ron Gerber. Uh, it looks like Gerber's looking for the return. You get close in, there's a all stream in, field streams into Tarzan for the first time. We're on board with an ego as well, really close there to the, the first one. They did well to uh, avoid contact with the field there. Uh, we've got the warning of a yellow, I wonder if someone's just going to spin there in the first corner, but either way, Smith has already managed to pull a bit of a lead and he's streaking away uh, with the field. Gerber there coming under pressure from Stevens, and he's going to really watch his tail as, as they come down on this first lap. Already, Stevens is trying to find a way through, looks left. Here we are on board with him and watching. Team Kubani this time, is he going to make an attack? And just he's looking, just trying to stay on the coattails of Gerber. Uh, oh, and a big wobble there. Big, big slide. A little bit further down the field there as well, you can see on board with uh, with Chris Short. He's just finding his time, just trying to find a slide through. Oh, brief bit of contact there and the tap from behind as well, but he's managed to regain, uh, regain the momentum and carry on his way. A very lucky escape. So, three abreast here. Smith, Gerber, Stephen, still on the first leg of the lap. And they come into this again. Watching now also stop all the step up tech vision. He had a moment there, just in the midfield. Seems to get a little bit of contact and that's cost him a bit of time. But again, holding on all right at the moment. He's back in the 13th position as they come out of the final corner for the first time and already Michael Stephen is lining up for the pass. He's along the side, he's alongside Gerber. Can he make it stick in the target? The late break as he does. Oh, very, very close. I thought better of it. He seems to have got a good drive. Is he going to get it on the exit? It looks like he's good, but of course, the next corner is the left hander, which means that Gerber's going to have oh, the right first and then the left. Gerber, yes, yeah, still got the advantage, but this has allowed Mitchell to come into play as well. Mitchell up on this on this trio of three. In fact, he's looking pretty racy now as well, as is, as is Bob Mason, in fact. He's not far behind either. So we're four address now. This is very close, looking very racy. And oh, all across the grass. I think that was Mitchell. And did he collect Mason? No, Mason just inches, inches there to make his way through and recover. But it's a uh, big, big spin there for Jack Mitchell. And he's out of contention. So that's... That's enabled now, Mason to slide onto the back of Stephen. Even so, Gerber here still holding out. Stephen's just going to find a way past Patrick Gerber. Can't, in fact, they never find a way just yet. Oh, and a bit of a moment there. Just seems to uh, be a bit of lost of momentum for Gerber in the middle of the uh, and we'll just go for a replay now. Let's see what happened here. So we're with the train. So Jack Mitchell out to side slides. Oh, just narrowly avoids slipping and taking out Rob Mason in the uh, in the fray as well. And uh, yeah, very lucky escape for both of them, but that's a yeah. of the place to see him drop drop back down the field. In fact, he's back down to eight. So back on board with Stevens now and uh, seems to have lost a little bit of ground there to, uh, to Patrick Gerber but it's interesting to watch these two respective drivers' lines, very different lines. In fact, watch, uh, Patrick seems to take a slightly wider line than, uh, than Mike um, Oh, as now, now going to the inside and he's alongside. You can just see the front wheel there in this a real power drive back up the hill. He's going to have the upper hand this strike. Gerber's going to have to shut the door again, but all the while this is enabling Mason to, to close in on the pair of them and, uh, and really capitalise if anything goes wrong in this fight. We're back on board in the corner there with, uh, with Jack Mitchell and he's chasing down Jay Culler. It seems to be closing back in again as he, he continues his recovery drive back at the field. Meanwhile, back with the main action, Mr. Stevens again looking to try and find a way around Patrick Gerber, pulled out wide, see how the initial drive, and uh, once again Gerber shut the door, but is this going to be the opportunity? No, once again, oh, he drives left, he drives right, is he going to be able to do it this time? Not quite, not quite, this, and it seems to be that Gerber is holding Stevens up, and that's allowing Mason to close in on the pair of them as well, so if he could find his time, either of this pair in the front can make a mistake, but it may just be uh, Mason's chance to, to snatch second position. 
great overhead shot there as well. Brilliant to see their contrasting lines as they go through this brand new reprofile final corner, this new bank corner at Zambor. Uh, and once again, it's a drive down the start finish straight. Jerby's easy, easy Stephen Ford pitfall, but he uh, he's just, uh, just giving him enough great racing room there. Really good to see these cars dueling closely, and this time it looks like again has. Stevens made it stick, Jervis alongside, he's holding on, but it might be this time, yes, it looks like this time he has made it stick. That was a great piece of driving there, the pair of them really, really close, and he just put the car where he needed to, held on, even though he's out of position around that right hand, and then of course had the, uh, the advantage into the left, so that of course has now released Stevens, and already it looks like he's put himself a little bit of air, and then uh, Jervis, but of course Jervis now is going to be looking all over his mirrors, he's got Mason in those mirrors, chasing him down. Oh, and an uncharacteristic mistake there, Jeb has come off the track, I don't know if he had a problem there, maybe with his, whether he's just got a couple of wheels on the grass, or whether that was a, a slight IT hitch, but either way, that's cost him a huge amount of time, he slid all the way down to eight, oh, real shame there for Patrick Jeb. Meanwhile, that of course means that Mason's now off to third, Dinkton promoted to fourth, Mastin, Jason at sixth, and Aiden Mason to seventh. So it's all changed here at the front of the race, and then, you know, backing right the way through the field, we're now watching Mark Francis, as he's challenging with, uh, with Pinkerton. Middle of uh, a train there with Jay Killer as well, so uh, yeah, really, really close racing all the way down the field here throughout this, this qualifying five lap race. Watching uh, Swanbord there as well with Stefan Petrovic, he's also really well in the battle. And the lights are on now with flashing the lights. Yeah, that <laughs> Jay Pinkton flashing the lights to the guys in front. He's warning them I'm on my way. Uh, here we are, mate. Okay, just seems to be keeping honest at the moment, and uh, just in the, the background there, Jay Fuller ready if anything happens to either of this pair to, uh, to pounce and, and gain two places. Just looking back from the rear wing there, of course a new wing profile rear wing that uh, Stefan Petrovic is car supporting, and uh, looking back, just trying to make out who that is, it's closing on it now. I think that's Jose, he's just going for a pass, no, Stefan Petrovic shuts the door. Meanwhile, we go back to the onboard cam, the, uh, the overhead camera with Mark Chancellor, and again, still so hasn't quite been able to find a way past Pinkerton, keeping him honest there, with about four tenths of a second between the pairing of them, so uh, not much at all to call. Seems to be a little bit of lost momentum there for Pinkerton as he came through the chicane, just enabled Fanta just to close off a few tents, just a couple of car lengths, but that could well be enough to get him in the slip and, and give him an opportunity to close right on the tail of the, uh, the former SL1 Cup champion. Come round, and we are now coming over to the cross last lap. Can he, can he cross the line? Can he pass him? Oh, he races through the line, but he's been able to do it, so... Smith 